Hello everyone, welcome back to Best Recapped Movie. Today we will show you a Korean movie in the genre of action and crime. Stay with us until the end of the movie. Spoilers ahead. At first, a hostage situation happened in one of the stores in the city. Oh Dong Jae-un and Kim Sang-hoon, two police officers, try to control the situation. Their boss John Ielman arrives and asks where Dong Suk is. Ma Dong Suk arrives at the crime scene a little late and says he was late because of a date. Kam Hong Suk, the other police officer, tells Dong Suk that he has taken a girl and the store owner hostage. Ma hatches a plan with the others to capture the hostage taker, who is a psychopath. Their boss, John, says not to be too hard on him so that they won't be noticed by the reporters who are. After beating him, Ma enters the store from the back door, arrests the hostage taker, and then asks the reporters not to take pictures. In Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, a wealthy Korean named Choi Yong Ji is conspired by Yoo Jong Hoon and his friends. Under the pretext of cooperation for rental cars, he enters the vehicle of Kong Hae Sang, one of the Korean criminals who immigrated to Vietnam. Choi starts talking about business but is immediately attacked by Sang and his partner. They beat him mercilessly and tell him he has been taken hostage. <laughs> Afterward, Dong Jae-un shows his friends and Ma the newspaper report about Ma as a violent policeman. Then, they make fun of their boss John who looks like a terrorist, and suddenly he enters the room. <laughs> Here, the boss asks Ma to travel to Vietnam. He must investigate one of the jewelry store robbers, Yoo Jong-hoon, who has now surrendered to the South Korean consulate in Vietnam. Sang and Kong, all three of his colleagues, volunteer to travel with him, but John Boss refuses and says that I will go with him myself. Ma says there needs to be someone who speaks English well, and John says I talk well, but that is different. They face problems at the airport because they need to learn English, and the consular officer welcomes them late. At night, he meets Gasoline who came to Vietnam from Korea. When dinner time, Gasoline talks about it being a hangout for criminals, and the consular officer confirms his words. Ma and John also say that we came for vacation. After that, Ma sees three Korean gang people buying and selling drugs and marijuana. He wants to arrest the mob, but John stops him. Tomorrow morning, the consular officer will name a criminal named Yoo Jong-hoon, who turned himself into the consulate. Ma laughs that Yoo Jong-hoon's conscience made him surrender, and he decides to interrogate him to find the real reason. Yoo Jong-hoon insists on his word, but Inspector Ma tries to get the address of his friend Kim Ji-hye back from him by pressuring him. <coughs> Ma tells John that if they arrest the two criminals and bring them back to South Korea, it will be propaganda for him too and then he asks the consular officer for the address he got. They go to the address they got from you, and Ma breaks the door lock after no one opens it. They find Kim Ji-hye back dead by the bed. After returning to the consulate, they wake up you, who is sleeping. Now that Ma has learned about his lie, he will punish him again. Finally, he asks you to leave the consulate. In this case, you agrees to tell the truth. He admits that he was involved in a robbery and tells the whole story of Choi. Here we have a flashback to when Kong Haesang is arguing with one of the villains about dividing the money. Choi took advantage of this opportunity and ran away among the fields. He promises them more money, but Kong Haesang immediately arrives and kills him. This is where an argument occurs between them, and Kong Haesang's partner kills one of the three people. Yu Jong Hoon and Kim Ji Hye Bak are forced to dig graves for the dead. Kong also cuts off Choi's hand and sends Choi's passport photo to his father, who is also very rich, to collect 5 million from him as a pledge for his son. Yu says he received the money after two days, and he and Kim Ji Hye Bak also ran away. He considers Kim's murder to be Kang's work, and to save himself from Kong, he is forced to introduce himself to the consulate. After that, Ma gets the address of the burial place from you. The consular agent also insists that this issue be left to the local police. Ma asks Kong Hong Suk to find information about Kong Hae Sang. After that the local police postpone the case for one month, and Ma decides to pursue this matter himself. He goes to the address he got from you, but the consular officer does not consider this legal. 
Finally, Ma breaks down the door, and they find the bodies that have been buried. After that, the local police get involved, while they are very upset about Ma and John's interference, and get into a fight with them. Ma says that I will arrest him. Through Gasoil, Ma reaches a gambling house, a hangout for Koreans. He is looking for the casino owner, Raku. After a fight, he finds out that Choi's father sent a group of gangsters to kill Kong Haesang without coordinating with the police. The gangsters sent by Choi's father go to Kong Haesang's house through a boy who is one of Raku's people. After taking the money that Choi's father gave him for his son's release, they ambush him to kill him. Before entering the house, Kong Haesang sees a lit cigarette on the balcony and becomes aware of the existence of the Avengers. In a tough fight, he kills all the people hired by Choi's father, and after talking to their leader, he calls Choi's father. Choi's father threatens him with death. However, Kong Haesang also says that he will come to Korea to get his money back. On the way to Kong Haesang's house, Ma asks the police headquarters in South Korea for information about Choi and his father. After they arrive, they see dead bodies on the ground. Ma finds Choi's passport, and suddenly Kong Haesang and his partner attack them. A brutal fight occurs between them, and Haesang injures John in the shoulder. John shoots at Haesang but misses him, and after they introduce themselves as the police, Haesang manages to escape. Still, his partner is wounded by Ma and arrested. Fortunately, John is recovering at the hospital, and Ma learns from Kong Haesang's partner that he went to Korea to see Chunbaek, Choi's father. John and Ma agree to their deportation to Korea by the local police since they are looking to arrest Kong Haesang. Next, Kong Hongsuk discovers that Haesang is involved in many kidnapping cases. As soon as they arrive in Korea, Ma and Dong Jaeyun find a person named Jang Isu. Since he has a history of illegal activities, Ma asks him to contact his infiltrators and report the movement of illicit ships to him. Ang Isu also gets the one-eyed captain who smuggles people, and he also informs about the arrival of a ship in the port of Gongpyeong. At the office of the police department, they notice Kong Haesang's presence, and Ma says to issue an arrest warrant for him. Their superior commander orders Ma and John to retreat as the case has been transferred to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Ma and John are upset about this and say nothing is left to arrest Kong Haesang. However, the colonel disagrees. Ma gives a speech about the events and scares the colonel somewhat about Kong Haesang to force him to hand over the case to them, and the colonel gives them one week. On the other hand, Choi Chunbaek orders more people to be hired to kill Kong Haesang. At Choi's funeral, Ma meets Kim in suk Choi's mother, and thanks Ma for returning her son's body. While eating at the ceremony, Kang Hong-suk says that Kim is Chun-baek's second wife and Choi is their only child. Ma goes to where Kong Haesang left the car to investigate further, but Haesang is brilliant because there are no CCTV cameras around. Ki Chiol and Soon Chiol are two Korean criminal brothers with whom Haesang now works. Kong Haesang secretly enters the elevator with Chun-baek. At the same time, the two brothers notice the presence of Choi's father's people in the parking lot. Kang Haesang입니다. Kang Haesang introduces himself in the elevator and manages to kill Chunbaek's bodyguard, and on the other hand, the two brothers surprise attack Chunbaek's men, who are ambushed and kill them all. After that, they take Chunbaek hostage, and Sanghoon sees them on the CCTV camera, but unfortunately, they escape. Kang Haesang then sends Chunbaek's finger to his wife, who brings the video to the police. Dong Jaeyun takes pictures of the video location for further investigation. Hong Suk explains the overlapping residence of the two brothers and Kong Haesang in the Philippines. Kong Haesang calls Kim, and Kim arranges a meeting to exchange money with his wife. Kim insists on bringing a driver with him, and Haesang agrees. Kichiol contacts the one eyed captain and books a ship to illegally escape to China because all roads to China are blocked. After that, there is a conversation between the two brothers and Kong Haesang, who are suspicious of each other. Ma also considers Jang Isu as a driver for Kim. Kong Haesang calls the Chiyo brothers and reminds them of the plan. As Kim's driver in this operation, Jang Isu puts the money in the car's back seat and looks at it greedily. At the same time, Ma and his team are ready to start the operation. 
Oh, Dong Jiayun goes to the exact location where Chun Baek was arrested. Kang Hong Suk tells Ma about the pursuit of Kim by the Chiyo brothers. And Kim thanks Jang Isu for agreeing to drive for him while he looks at the money. To ensure Kim is not under police surveillance, Kang Haesang asks him to go around, surprising the police officers, and then Kang Haesang sees Dong Jiayun patrolling. Dong Jiayun finds the hideout of Kang Haesang and thus Chun Baek and reports it to Ma and John. He tries to get Chun Baek out of there, but after a robbery with Kong Hei Sang, he is injured, and Hei Sang also runs away. John reaches there and takes Dong John to the hospital. On the other hand, Kong Hei Sang calls the Chiyo brothers and says they are under police surveillance. Ma also informs them of the release of Kim's wife and asks Jang Ai Su to move forward with speed. Suddenly, the Chiyo brothers stop Jang Ai Su. And after a chase between the Chiyo brothers and Jang Isu, they get into a fight in the parking lot. Jang Isu also takes advantage of this situation and runs away with the money. Kim runs away into the arcade, and one of the brothers who follow him is arrested by Ma. Soon Chiyo, his other brother, is also detained by Sang and Hong. Now Jang Isu has taken the money and is happy when suddenly Kong Haesang hits him from behind at high speed. Jang Isu quickly takes the money and gets into a taxi before Haesang can reach him. Kong Haesang kills two police officers who approach him, and Jang Isu is surprised to see the money. Ma, along with two other officers, arrives at the accident scene. They report to Ma Kong Haesang killing a police officer and Jang Isu running away with the money. Kang Haesang sees the news on TV that Jiang Isu has fled to China and decides to head to the port of Gongtian as it is the only way to China. Jiang Isu calls Captain Wan Ai to take him to China on the first ship. By promising to pay more, he convinces the captain to give him a boat. Then Kang Haesang enters the room and threatens him to tell the truth. Jiang Isu arrives at the appointment and prepares to leave after paying, but Kang Haesang arrives. <laughs> Since he is very timid, he first invites him to a fight, but eventually, Kang Haesang attacks him, and he also runs away. Kang Haesang sees police around him and tries to carefully board the bus to the port while Jang Isu sees him and calls someone. Kang Haesang notices the traffic a little ahead, and Ma is the person who caused the gridlock. Inspector Ma enters the bus and disembarks the passengers before any conflict. <laughs> Kang Hei Sang, who sees the situation is dire, offers Ma to accept half the money. Hearing this, Ma decides to fight with him. After that, the police arrive and arrest Kang Hei Sang. And then he calls Jang Isu and says the card was perfect. Here we have a flashback to Jang Isu riding in a taxi. Ma calls him and asks him to call Captain One Eye and flee to China, and he wants to trap Kong Haesang. Next, the TV broadcasts the news of Kong Haesang's arrest and the information about Chun Baek's trial for hiring mercenaries who try to take revenge. At the movie's end, the director invites John Ma and the others to drink wine during Kong Haesang's arrest. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.